Hi everyone, get ready with me today. I have a little lesson for all my Scarlet Scholars today. As I get ready to do my makeup, I'm kind of going to share a little lesson with you. Every morning we wake up and I can share with you my experience. Every morning I wake up and I'm not okay and I'm okay. And that's okay. That has been my experience of my life, the majority of my life. Waking up not feeling okay, but still going on with our day. <clears throat> so this is just showing up for our lives. But in order to do that, we have to get going. So when I get up in the mornings, this is what I look like after I've taken my bath. And I don't necessarily feel okay to go out in the world. And this isn't about a physical appearance. This is about an internal feeling. But we show up in this world and that's what I'm going to encourage you to do here today. So I kind of want to use makeup as a metaphor and so the first thing we have to do is kind of clean off the slate. Everything that was from the day before. So here I am using some micellar water just kind of cleaning off my skin. But this is truly a metaphor for you just cleaning off everything that came from the day before. Um, just really renewing yourself each morning, whether that's by reading um, something positive, a devotional of some kind, maybe it's just simply taking a bath. I take a bath each morning and in doing so I refresh and I clean myself up that way. Um, <clears throat> I make sure that I do things that clean off everything from the day before. Now it's of course a great thing to do this before you go to bed, but repeat it in the morning. And here you can see all those impurities have been cleaned off and I have a cleaner slate now. And I feel a little bit more prepared for life suddenly. <clears throat> so now I've gotten my slate pretty well cleaned. We wanna make sure that we renew ourselves each and every day. The next thing we wanna do <clears throat> is we wanna lay a foundation. And in terms of makeup, how I'm relating to it, I'm going to lay down a primer. So we wanna lay our foundation down. What is our foundation? Our foundation is our paradigm of what we believe we are, who we believe we are, what we believe about our reality, the truth of our existence. So you want to lay that foundation down for yourself, just like I'm laying down the foundation of this primer on my skin. The foundation that I <clears throat> abide in each morning is the foundation of reality that is very, very meta. I really renew myself in the absolute sense of reality, knowing that nothing is truly real here on this earth. And I am just playing a game here on this earth. So renew yourself with whatever paradigm is good for you, whatever you believe about this earth, whatever your mission is here on this earth, whatever you want to do as your paradigm. For me, that is that this is the illusion. And just to remember that this is an illusion, nothing here is as serious as it seems. And it's time to play in the illusion. And what would I like to create today? That is how I start my day. <clears throat> so we've cleaned up, we've renewed ourselves and we've laid our paradigm, our foundation down. Our next thing will be to nourish ourselves. What I'm gonna do for this is I'm going to add <clears throat> some vitamin lip oil to my lips to symbolize this. You want to nourish yourself each day whether that be in your diet, what you drink each morning. I don't have it with me here now, but I generally drink uh, coconut water each morning to hydrate myself, to renew myself in that way, to nourish my body and everything like that. Now I'm going to start putting on my makeup now. Now I'm getting ready for the day. And you see, we all put on masks as we go into this world, <clears throat> we are our authentic selves, but in each situation, we are a character of some kind. You see, we're not truly this person. We're not truly Nydia. We're not truly Scarlet. We're not truly whatever our name happens to be. 
we are just a character that we've created or that we've accepted the creation of unconsciously over time, the programming, the different things that we've been through in our lives. But essentially we've created this character. And so here I'm going to create my character. I'm going to go ahead and put my foundation down. Now this isn't the paradigm foundation. This is the foundation of the character. You see all of this can be washed off. All of this isn't actually part of this character. All of this is just being added on. It's not actually authentic or part of this character. It's something that I add on. So I'm adding on this layer for me to create the perfect mask for me to go out into the world. And this mask, believe it or not, I'm really running out of makeup actually, but even the bit that I have on is masking parts of this being, this authentic being. And as a matter of fact, I usually will actually take my finger and go along my face in any spots that I do have imperfections, I go ahead and kind of um, just put a little a tiny bit more makeup on before I blend it all in. So I'm really smoothing out all of these imperfections, really concealing them. And you know, a lot of makeup is called concealer. Um, so we're concealing all of these imperfections about ourselves to create this sort of kind of perfectly smooth and uniform image or being for others to perceive us as being imperfect. But we aren't imperfect. All we've done is added things to ourselves to make it appear as though we are perfect. But you see, no one, not me, not you, no one on this earth is perfect. We are all just wearing masks and concealer and concealing those imperfections. And some of us believe those masks to be true about ourselves or about others, but they're truly not. They're just masks, which is why I started this video by showing you what I look like without my mask. And as I continue on here, I'm going to continue to add to my mask in different ways. I may emphasize one part or another, depending on what I perceive is good for this appearance, for this mask I'm trying to create. I can use things like eyeshadows, colors. I'm using black and white, <clears throat> but you can truly use any color eyeshadow or makeup that you would like to add color to yourself to your life. And again, this is all part of the illusion that we play in. There's nothing wrong or right about it. It just is, it's, it is what it is. This is what we do. And to play in the illusion, these are the games that we play. We have to pick up our paintbrush. We have to go play and we have to create something with the materials that we've been given. So here's something, right? And many people want to know how to do good makeup. One of the things about it is it's all about blending. We don't just <clears throat> slap things on. We keep perfecting it. So these masks and things that we create for ourselves, believe it or not, we continually perfect throughout our lives. So much so that some beings really believe their masks to be who they truly are. And they get so lost in their masks and believing them to be real that when anything threatens their mask, they get very defensive and they feel that they're losing everything and themselves. But you see, that's not occurring. 
that was just a mask. You've only lost yourself and forgotten yourself within the illusion of life. But in any moment, you can actually realize the truth of your being and be saved. That's why there's so many songs such as Amazing Grace and many other songs that are quite fascinating about being lost and found within the same moment. Because you see, you're not separate from being found. The lost is the found and the found is the lost. We just play in our masks and sometimes we forget that we're playing. <clears throat> so now I have an eyeliner. Now I'm going to really outline what I've created. In this case, my eyes, the windows to your soul. I'm going to outline that. And so we do the same in our lives. We really emphasize and outline our creation. And sometimes so much so that we're prideful, that we take it on as something that we did. But you see, you didn't do any of this. You didn't build any of this. It just is. And you're not doing it. But we play, we outline, and we make it shine. We make it seem that we are doing this, that we are the creators. <clears throat> that we should be praised. And it hurts us when no one praises us and that they don't see our creation the way that we see it. But you see, the creation was never meant for anybody else. It was never meant for you to seek the approval of anyone else. That's why it's so painful because everything in your reality is meant to point you back to yourself. And that process can be very painful to go seeking love and attention or approval from someone else only to get the door shut, to be rejected as part of the experience of realizing that there's nothing outside of yourself to seek. It's all here and now within you in this moment and you've never been separate and you never will be. There is nothing outside this moment there is actually nothing that is happening and there is much less nothing to fear except your own illusions and the own your own nightmares that you create by believing and creating masks and stories and playing into them i learned a very valuable lesson a long time ago about bullies if someone is bullying you and you want them to stop you stop giving them attention. You stop giving them energy and it literally stops. <clears throat> so if you don't like the illusion that you've created or you feel that you've created a nightmare for yourself, you can actually just stop paying attention to it. You can actually just wipe it all clean. I could pull out a bar of soap and wash my face clean and it'd all be gone. That illusion will be gone as soon as you stop paying attention to it. As soon as you stop believing you're a victim of your own creation, you won't be a victim anymore. So now let's add some color. Life can be quite boring sometimes if we just allow it to just be. We have the ability to add color. You have the ability to be the painter of your experience. And so how do you do that? By bringing color, by bringing aliveness to your creation. And so through this metaphor of makeup, we add blush. And suddenly this face that was so pale and almost dead looking, suddenly looks very alive. And it looks like there's a live being here with rosy cheeks, with good blood flow, with health. And so to finish off 
my mask, I will just add some sealing powder. You always just seal with powder to seal that creation. It is complete. And so once you create your, your uh, creation and you declare it complete, it is complete. And you can go out in the world and do the things that you want to do. Now, like I said, every morning I feel not okay and okay. After I get ready, after I put my mask on, after I take my bath, do my hair, I feel ready. Why? Because the mask is complete. The costume is on. You see, you aren't the character. You re really aren't. That's the illusion. That's why you don't feel okay right away. You don't feel natural to play an illusion as someone you're not. But when you lay down the foundation, the mask and everything else and seal it, and so it be, then you're ready to go. So my friend, if you don't feel very motivated this morning to get going, to do everything, all the things that we have to do here today, I encourage you to simply get up, take a bath, put your mask on. By that, I mean your clothes and or your makeup and both, or whatever it is that you do to create your mask here on this earth. And once you have that on, you're gonna feel a different sort of energy.